Mr. Dizzy by Roger Hargreaves Mr. Dizzy was, to be quite honest, not very clever. If you were to ask Mr. Dizzy what was the opposite of black, he'd say, uh, the opposite of black is, uh, pink. He lived in a house on a hill which he'd built himself, a not very clever house. One of Mr. Dizzy's problems was that he lived in a country where everybody else was terribly clever. Cleverland. Even the birds were clever in Cleverland. Everything and everybody in Cleverland was clever. You'll never see a worm reading a book anywhere else but Cleverland. Poor Mr. Dizzy. Everything around him was so clever it made his head spin. One morning Mr. Dizzy was out for a walk when he met a pig. What's big and grey and has big ears and a trunk? said the clever pig to Mr. Dizzy. Uh, a mouse? said Mr. Dizzy. The pig laughed sarcastically at Mr. Dizzy and went off shaking his head. Then Mr. Dizzy met an elephant, a clever elephant. What's small and furry and likes cheese? the elephant asked cleverly. Uh, a pig? replied Mr. Dizzy. The clever elephant laughed down his trunk. A pig? he trumpeted. A pig? You silly man! And off he went. Poor Mr. Dizzy. Mr. Dizzy decided he didn't want to talk to anybody else that day, so he went for a walk in the wood where he knew he wouldn't meet anybody. He felt very miserable about not being clever, and as he walked along a tear trickled down his cheek. Poor Mr. Dizzy. Then, in the middle of the wood, he came across a well. Little did Mr. Dizzy know that it was a wishing well. The day was warm, and so he decided to take a drink of water from the well. Mr. Dizzy drank deeply, but he was still unhappy. Oh, I wish I could be clever, he sighed. Little did Mr. Dizzy know that whoever drinks deeply from the water at the wishing well, his wish will come true. And Mr. Dizzy had wished that he could be clever, and his wish had come true. He was clever, but he didn't know it. Not yet. On the way home, Mr. Dizzy came across the elephant and the pig he had met earlier. They were telling each other about how they had made Mr. Dizzy look silly by asking him a question he couldn't answer. They were giggling and sniggering about it when they saw Mr. Dizzy approaching from the wood. Here he comes again, giggled the clever pig. Let's ask him another question, sniggered the clever elephant. Mr. Dizzy came up to them. Tell us, said the clever pig, trying to keep a straight face. What's white and woolly and goes baa? Why, a sheep, of course, replied Mr. Dizzy. The pig and the elephant were amazed. To tell the truth, so was Mr. Dizzy. He suddenly felt very, very clever. It was not an unpleasant feeling. Tell us, said the clever elephant, what has four legs, a tail, and goes woof? How easy, replied Mr. Dizzy. A dog, of course. The clever pig and the clever elephant couldn't understand how Mr. Dizzy had become so clever in one morning. Mr. Dizzy couldn't understand how he had become so clever in one morning, but we know how he became he had become so clever in one morning, don't we? Now let me ask you a question, said Mr. Dizzy to the pig. You, grunted the pig rudely, you ask me a question. Don't be ridiculous. There's no question you could ask me that I couldn't answer. Really, smiled Mr. Dizzy. Well then, can you tell me what's fat and pink and goes, a tissue, a tissue. What's fat and pink and goes a tissue, a tissue, repeated the pig, looking worried. There's nothing that's fat and pink and goes a tissue, a tissue. Nothing, eh, said Mr. Dizzy, and he tickled the pig's nose. A tissue, a tissue, sneezed the pig. The, uh, the answer is you, said Mr. Dizzy. You're fat and pink and you're going a tissue, a tissue. The clever pig looked down right, if not down left, miserable. Mr. Dizzy turned to the elephant, who incidentally had stopped sniggering. Now, said Mr. Dizzy, let me ask you a question. What's large and grey and goes dop it, dop it? What's large and grey and goes dop it, dop it? repeated the elephant, looking worried. There's nothing that's large and grey and goes dop it, dop it. Oh, yes, there is, grinned Mr. Dizzy. There certainly is something that's large and grey and goes dop it, dop it. And he tied a knot in the clever elephant's trunk. Stop it! Stop it! cried the elephant, who wanted to say stop it, stop it, but couldn't talk properly with a knot in his trunk. Mr. Dizzy grinned and went home.
I suppose do you think that's funny, said the elephant.